This video provides an introduction to radiographic film processing. The first step in the generation of an X-ray image is the creation of a latent image. The latent image is created through the interaction of silver and halide atoms within the X-ray film. Once an X-ray strikes the film, it is either completely or partially absorbed. This results in the release of electrons from bromide and iodide ions as they already have additional electrons. The now free-ranging electrons are attracted to areas of instability in the crystal structure. The collection of trapped electrons results in the creation of negatively charged sensitivity centers. As they have lost their negative charge, the bromide and iodide ions become neutral atoms. No longer electrically bound together, these atoms are released into the gelatin. The interstitial positively charged silver ions are drawn to the negatively charged sensitivity centers, where each ion joins with a free electron. This results in the silver ion becoming electrically neutral metallic silver. Any remaining silver halide that is not changed to metallic silver during exposure is changed during processing of the film. Radiographic films were the preferred method of recording these latent images until the advent of digital technology. Various sizes of film are available to suit all the main parts of the body. The most commonly used are 10 by 12 inches and 14 by 17 inches. Films have a blue tint and consist of two parts, the base and the emulsion. The majority of films are coated with emulsion on both sides hence the term double emulsion film. The emulsion consists of gelatin and silver halide crystals. The base is dyed blue to prevent eye strain and enhance the image. Double and single emulsion film is durable yet flexible, allowing these films to be processed. For the purpose of demonstration, this shows film under normal light, although clinically this would result in film fogging. Films are light sensitive, so must be handled in the dark room to prevent exposure. Special 15 watt safe lights may be positioned in specific places in the dark room. Safe light filters are also important. There are many types of film for different examinations. Examples include screen film, mammography film, and laser film. The cassette in which film is placed is a shallow box lined with layers of felt or padding to press the film against the intensifying screens. Most cassettes have two intensifying screens. The film is placed between the two intensifying screens with the phosphor layer of each screen facing inwards in contact with the emulsion of the film. When the X-ray beam strikes the cassette, the phosphor layer of the intensifying screen is stimulated which results in the generation of light photons. X-rays from the source enter the patient and become image forming. Remnant radiation emerges from the patient's body and stimulates the radiographic intensifying screen. The screen intensifies the remnant radiation, allowing about 30% of the X-rays, now translated to visible light, to form the latent image. Although the screen causes minor blurring of the image, this disadvantage is offset by the significantly lower patient dose. Historically, radiographic film processing following manual exposure was a lengthy process, taking about an hour. Several steps must be undertaken in order to process a radiographic film. Wetting. Water is applied to the emulsion, causing it to expand, and allowing for increased chemical spread and permeation of the gelatin. In automatic processing, this step occurs at the same time as developing. Developing Fixing Washing Drying The silver that is used in X-ray films is an expensive and non-renewable resource so it must be recycled for economic and environmental reasons. It can be salvaged from unprocessed film, fogged film, or from processed film when the image is no longer required. 
Now, film processing can be done in daylight processors and is fully automated, taking 90 seconds. The automatic film processor must first be turned on and allowed to warm up. The developer solution and wash water should be at the optimal temperature for processing. The short side of the film should be placed against the side of the rail in the feed tray and fed in evenly. In an automatic system, there are four steps in the processing of a radiographic image. Developing Converts the silver ions within the crystal structures into a metallic silver form by delivering additional electrons to the silver ions. Fixing Fixative chemicals flush the remaining unexposed and underdeveloped silver halide from the film and stiffen the gelatin so that the visible image is preserved for archiving. Washing Water is used to wash away any remaining chemicals. Drying Warm air removes the last drops of rinsing water from both sides of the film. Radiographic film must be handled with care. Fingerprints, nail marks, chemical splashes, dust specks, or bending the film can cause artifacts, which may interfere with diagnosis. Processing in a dirty machine can also create artifacts. Chemicals may be hazardous, and all laboratories and darkrooms should adhere to national standards for occupational safety and health. Employers must provide a safe work environment, and employees must use the required protective equipment and follow all standard safety procedures. Glutaraldehyde, a toxic chemical used in developing fluid, can cause a variety of symptoms if inhalation or skin contact occurs. Many modern developing agents do not use glutaraldehyde, but full safety procedures should still be followed when handling chemicals. Conventional X-ray images show structures superimposed on one another. Linear or conventional tomography allows sectional images of anatomic structures to be obtained. In linear tomography, the X-ray source above the table moves in one direction and the image receptor below the patient moves in the opposite direction. The fulcrum is set at a pivot point where there is no movement. Structures at the level of the fulcrum are stationary, so have good definition and contrast, whereas structures above or below the level of the fulcrum are blurred and less visible. Panoramic tomography, or pantomography, is a specialist application for use in dental and mandible imaging. The patient is stationary, and the X-ray source and the image receptor move around the patient's head.